Okay, we begin the Gemara today on Daf Yudalif. Zog Tehelige Mishnah. Mazgoloi Esakais. They poured a person a cup of wine. And Va'amar, and the person says, Hareini Nozim Imeno. I am a Nozer from it. So Hare is a Nozer. He becomes a Nozer. Right, he's saying he's a Nozer. It's wine here. So he becomes a Nozer. Ma'isi Bishachas. There was a story with this woman. Sha'isa Shikaira. She was intoxicated. And they poured her a cup of wine. And she said, I'm a nazir from this wine. When she said this expression, all she meant to say was, to say, That this wine here should be also to me like a carbon. In other words, she took upon herself just a net there from the wine. From, and, and only from this cup of wine. But not to be a nazir in general. Which, would, which includes other Yisurim, and obviously also means that you can't drink any wine. Mm. Okay, so the Gemara right away asks the obvious question here on this Mishnah. It brings a story, which is a contradiction to the halacha that I just said. In the beginning, the Mishnah says, is a nazir, that if a person says, when they offer him to drink wine, and he says, I'm a nazir from this wine, it means he becomes a full nazir and he can't drink any wine. And right afterwards, it brings a story. The story with this woman. So Alma, what do we see from what the, the Chachamim said regarding this woman? But in, in, it's in this wine that she's also to drink from it because of the, her nether. We consider it just to be a nether from this wine. But from any other wine, she's allowed to drink because she's not a nether. And for the Gemara, Chasuri Mechzerah. Is missing over here in the Mishnah. This is how you have to learn the Mishnah. It depends on the case. When you pour a person a cup of wine, and he says, I'm a nazir, even though he said me menu from this cup of wine, but nevertheless, that is a nazir. He becomes a nazir in general and he can't drink any wine. But if the person that you poured him a cup of wine was already intoxicated, so then, I am going to be a Nazir from this wine, then a Nazir, he will not be a Nazir. He'll only be, uh, it'll only be a Nether, which means not to drink from this wine. My timer, why is it different if the person is a Shikr and they, and they offer him wine? Because commander, uh, my timer, again, it goes together, my timer, so the reason is, commander Omar, Hare like Carbono. Because over here, in such a case, when he's a shikr, we say that it's as if this person only meant to say, even though I use the term nazir, but we understand, it's clear that what he meant to say is that this wine will be to me like a carbon. So the Gemara explains this. What's the reason for this? Why is it different if he's a shikr? So if you'll say, so let, if so, let him say so. If he only wants to make this wine us of him as a carbon, so why don't he use such a lushan? That this should be a carbon to me. Why is he using a lushan of nazirus? So the answer is Sava, because this person that's drunk thinks to himself, so it looks like he's not that drunk after all, because he's thinking a little bit, right? Now, Bakhla, I mean, if this person would be completely drunk, then any Naziris that he would say would not take effect because he's just drunk. And is a, we're not talking about a person that's very drunk, a person that's drunk to some degree. So then he says to himself, Sava, Maisenli Achrine, Umitsarenli. Even if I'll make a net not to drink from this cup of wine, but they'll bring me another cup of wine and they're going to pressure me to drink another cup, cup of wine. Right? So in other words, the Rishayim over here say, this is the derech with a person that's drunk. Someone that's not drunk and he says, I'm, I'm thank, thank you, but no thank you. I don't want this cup of wine. So they're not going to pressure him to drink another cup of wine. But a person that's already drunk or partially drunk, so then you bring him one cup, another cup, they start pressuring him to drink. So therefore, let me just say something that will be clear to them that I'm not going to drink any wine. Right, so therefore he uses this expression saying, I'm a Nazir, I'm a Nazir mi menu, meaning I can't drink any wine, and then they'll, they'll leave him alone. Uh -huh. but, he, but we know be, that he's only doing this because of the pressure that he wants to get rid of. And on this second Allah regarding the shikir, that we understand that he doesn't want to drink this wine, and that he just doesn't want them to pressure him to drink any wine, but he doesn't want to become a Nazir, and that brings the story. Person says, I'll be a Nazir, right? So the Nazir is not allowed to drink wine, not allowed to become Tommy, not allowed to be cut his hair. But he says, I'm going to be a Nazir with the condition that I could drink wine. Or, I'm a Nazir, but I still could become Tommy to Mason. He becomes a Nazir, and he will be also with everything, even though he said 
that, I, that if it's only with the condition that I, not all of the Nazidas should take effect, it doesn't, doesn't matter. He becomes a full Nozer. Mm-hmm. Another case, the person says that he accepted upon himself Naziris, but Yideyani Sheyesh Naziris, I know that there's this concept of Naziris, and that's what he accepted upon himself, to be a Nazir. But when I accepted upon myself Naziris, I wasn't aware that one of the Allahs of a Nazir is not to drink wine. So he only accepted upon himself a partial Naziris, which is not to become Tomei or not to cut his hair, but he didn't know about the wine. And nevertheless, Hareza Asr. He accepts upon himself even only partial Naziris, he becomes a full Nazir. He's totally Asr. But Abshimin, Mate. Abshimin says, because he only accepted upon himself a partial Naziris, it doesn't take effect. He's going to be Mater. <coughs> so, as we'll see in the Gemara here, this Machlaikis between the Tanakhama and Abshimin is based on something we learned earlier in the Mesechta, where there was an argument also between the Chacham and Abshimin when a person accepts upon himself a partial Naziris. The example there was. Person says, I'm only going to be Asa to eat grape skins or the grape seeds. Does that mean that no Naziris takes effect? Rabbi Shimon says that no Naziris takes effect. And the Chachamim say, even when you accept upon yourself a partial Naziris, it takes fully effect. Same thing over here. This person says, I didn't know. He accepted upon himself a partial Naziris. So they argue whether the Naziris takes effect. A third case, person says, yes, I accepted upon myself Naziris, and I also knew that Naziris includes not drinking wine. But what I thought to myself was, that the Chachamim will be mad to me to drink wine, because I could only live with wine. He needs, he needs to drink wine, maybe for his health, or for whatever other reason. He says that for me, not wine is very necessary. <coughs> If this is a person that this is what he does, he's part of the Chavra Kadisha, he buries people, so therefore he was sure that Chacham would be matarin to go and bury people, even if he accepts upon himself this Naziris. So Harezeh Mutter, the Tanakhama says, if this is what he says, he'll actually be Mutter. But Rab Shimon says, he will be Oser. So over here, the opinions, the opinions of the Tanakhama and Rab Shimon is in the reverse of the previous case. And the Gemara will address this, because seemingly it's a very similar thing over here. He accepts upon himself Naziris, but he doesn't want to be a full Nazir. He says, Chachamim will allow me to, to do part of the things that are usually also for a Nazir. So it's, it's seemingly very similar to the previous case. So the Gemara will address the difference. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. So the Gemara will like Nami Rab Shemim Why would Rab Shemim not argue in the first case of the Mishnah? We have over here three cases. So seemingly the first case of the Mishnah is also similar. In the first case of the Mishnah, the person is accepting upon himself Naziris, but also only partially. It says, I'm taking upon myself Naziris, but with the condition that I could still drink wine. Isn't that the same exact kind of a point, in the se- like in the second case, where he accepted upon himself a partial Naziris, and there's an argument whether the Naziris takes effect? Amar Rabbi Shuban Levi, so Rabbi Shuban Levi answers, you're right, Chaluk Chaya Rabbi Shimon Av Peresha. Rabbi Shimon argued on the second case and on the first case as well. Right, so the Mishnah is taking quoting two cases, and then it brings Rav Shimon Matir. The Rav Shimon Matir goes on both cases. Ravina, Maravina says, Bereisha le Polik Rav Shimon. In the first case, when he accepts Naziris, and he says, Almanas, a condition that I should not be also of wine, over there, Rav Shimon does not argue. Rav Shimon over there will agree that the full Naziris takes effect. My time, uh, what's the reason? Mishum Dahavale Masna Mashakosu Beteda. Because in that expression, saying that you accept upon yourself full Naziris, but then you make a condition, al menas, that I should still be able to drink wine. That's making a condition against what the Teire says. And we have a rule. Anytime you make a condition and it's going against the, the, the halacha that the Teire says, your Tanai is, is, is totally nullified. Your, your, your Tanai is meaningless. So in other words, there's a big difference between a person accepting upon himself partial Naziris. That's the second case, because he didn't even know that Yayin is part of the Isra Naziris. <coughs> And the first case, where the person accepts upon himself Naziris and he, he wants to insert a condition. You can't make a condition on what it says in the Torah. Right? The, 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 the whole idea of a person making a condition is learned out from B'nai God, B'nai Ruven. There's certain, only certain cases a, per, a person has a power to make a condition. If you do it according to the lo- rules, the way the Torah says the condition works. Or, but to make a condition on what the Torah says, that, that condition does not take effect at all. So therefore, Rab, Rab, uh, Rab Shimon agrees there. So the Gemara now explains why does Rabbi Shua disagree with this. Rabbi Shua ben Levi says that Rabbi Shimon argues even in the Reisha. Rabbi Shua ben Levi, Rabbi Shua ben Levi will tell you, Hayal menas, 
In the first case of the mission, even though he uses the expression of almanas, which means he's making a condition, but kachutztami. The almanas over here, it, it does not mean like a condition, but it means accept. Accept, which means that it's similar to what we said in the second case, that it's a partial nizidis. In the first case as well, what he's saying is, I accept upon myself a partial nizidis. In other words, only this, but accept, accept other things that I will not accept upon myself. So therefore, it's not considered to be a condition. It's a partial nizidis, and therefore the same achleikas applies. So the Marana brings, Tanya Kvasei de Ravina. But in Abraise, we learned like Ravina's Pshat, that it is a Tnai, and therefore it does not take effect. Because the Braise says, Omar, any like it said in the Mishnah, a person says, I'm going to be a Nazir, but with the condition that I will not drink wine, or Matama Lemesim, that I'll still be able to be Tomei, Temesim, Harez and Nazir. He becomes a Nazir, Va'asr Bekulan, and he becomes Asr completely in the full Naziris. And the Braise clearly gives this reason, because you're making a condition against what the Taita says. Masna Tnoi Bottle. You make a condition against what the Tata says, your tnai is totally meaningless. Okay, now we go to the last case in the Mishnah. What did it say? The person said, <laughs> I did know that Naziris includes not drinking wine, not becoming tame, but he says, I thought Chacham will be mata to me because I need wine or, I, or, or, my, or he's a part of the Chavre Kadisha. So over here, what did it say in the Mishnah that it's the Tanakama that says that it'll be mutter because of this, that the Naziris does not take effect, and that Rabbi Shimon here is the one that asks us. But the question is, in the previous case, so what did the Tanakama say? Asr, that when you accept upon yourself a partial Naziris, you become Asr, it takes effect. It's Rabbi Shimon, the one that says it's mutter. So why over here are their opinions reversed? So the Gemara, first answer the Gemara is, Amen, Nami. So over here, in this case as well, you have to say the same like the previous case. That the Tanakh Kama says that it will be Osir. And Rab Shemim And Rab Shemim is the one that says that a partial Naziris does not take effect, so it will be Mutter. That's one shot. The Gemara is going to give another two shot to me. Or the Gemara says, I can tell you another shot. You don't have to reverse their opinions. There's a difference between the second case of the Mishnah, where he accepts upon himself a partial Naziris, and the third case, where he says, I thought Chachamim are being, are going to be matter for me, the drinking of wine or, or burying people. When it comes to the first case of the Mishnah, where the case is that the person accepts upon himself a partial Naziris, he accepts upon himself only to be a Nazir from one of the aspects of Naziris, not a full Naziris. So therefore, over there, according to the Tanakam, according to the Rabbanon, the Naziris will take effect, like I explained before already. The Omri, their opinion is, the Philoloi Nazar El man. Even if a person accepts upon himself Naziris only from one of the aspects of the Naziris, have a Nazir. You become a full Nazir and Vaasr, and therefore you become Asr. So that explains the Reish of the Mishnah. Let Abshem in the Omar, Achi Yazir Mikulam, and Abshem in it says that the Naziris will not take effect unless you accept upon yourself all the details of Naziris. If a person is spelling out one detail, then he does not become a Nazir at all. So therefore, mutter over there, where he did not know about wine, except upon himself a partial nizidis, he'll be mutter. That's the pshat in the second case of our Mishnah. Seife, however, in the last case of the Mishnah, what's the case here? The nodar mikulu. He really originally made a nizidis. He accepted upon himself nizidis fully. He says that any nazir. And then what happened? The itchul mechade. Now he's saying, I thought that the chachamim are going to be matter for me, a part of my nizidis. So basically, he's he's requesting a hetter for a part of his Naziris. So the question is, could you be matter a part of your Naziris? So li Rabbanan da Amri afilu li Nazir elam achas men ave Nazir. The Rabbanan that say that when you accept Naziris upon yourself, you accept a partial Naziris. So then what happens? You become a full Nazir. Ki Mitchell mi chadem inayu. Similar, the Chachamim say, when, you're, when you get a heter for part of your Naziris, ishtiri. So that heter will also cause the entire Naziris to fall apart. Right, so in other words, the point here is that the Chacham's opinion is the three different aspects that there are in Naziris, not to drink wine, not to cut your hair, and not to become Tamil and Mesim, they're not three distinct Isurim that happen to be applying to a Nazir. They're really like three things that are one thing. You can't have one without the other. It's, it, it's the, the status of a Nazir 
that's one status that brings these three things. So it's e either you have all three together or you have none of them. So just like when you accept one, the other two follow. The same thing also, if you matter one, the other two will become mutter <laughs> as well. But let Abshim in the Omar, Abshim that says, Achi Yazir Mikulam. Abshim says they're considered to be three distinct Isurim. So therefore, if you accept one, then you're not a Nazir, so none of them take effect. So Kimit Nami. So too, if you're coming and you want to be shoyal on one of them, uh, so add the Mitchell Mikula. If you're being shoyal just on one thing, it's not going to take effect at all. They had the Sheila, the fact that you're requesting a hat will not take effect until you're going to be shoyal from all of them. Therefore, okay, so it is one thing. Huh? It's one thing or three separate things. Mm, okay, so it's a different area between the Rabbanon and the Tan. So, so maybe the Swad is Punkt Fakert, that, that, that according to the Rabbanon, these three things are considered to be three separate things. So if you accept upon yourself one of them, I think, I think it's the way I explained it. That according to the Rabbanon, it's one thing. So if you accept upon yourself one, the others follow. And if you get a hetter from one, the other ones also fall apart. Mashenk and according to Rab Shimin, each one is separate. So therefore, if you accept upon yourself a partial nizidus, so then the, the, you, you, there's no such a thing as a partial nizidus. So none of it takes effect. And, it's, and a chanami. Yeah, but it, it is three separate things. But you can't accept upon yourself a partial nizidus. Mm -hmm. So if you accept upon yourself one, not the other two, other two don't follow. Mm -hmm. And the same thing also, if you want to be matter a partial nizidus, you can't be matter a partial nizidus. Mm -hmm. So therefore, the heter does not uh, take effect for any of it. So Mishim Hachi Ketani, so that's why in the safe of the Mishnah it says, Rab Shimon Aiser, that Rab Shimon Asers. Okay, so the point of here is it's that in the, the correct, uh, again, according to the Chachamim, it's all a non. Right. So the, 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 point, the point of here is that in the second case of the Mishnah, <coughs> we're talking about accepting the Ziris. And in the third case of the Mishnah, we're talking about a Hetter, to, to be Shail on the Ziris. And that's why the, their opinions are reversed. <coughs> the Gemara has one more Pshat on the Mishnah. I can tell you a third Pshat for the Mishnah here. Why is there a difference in the last case? Why over here is Rab Shimon the one that's Machmer and Asrin, even though in the second case, Rab Shimon was the one that was Mater. The argument here in the last case <coughs> is an argument about Nidre Einsin. If you remember, we had this concept of Nidre Einsin in the Gemara and the Dara. The Gemara here is going to quote that Mishnah where it says a person accepts upon himself a neder with a certain condition. And then that condition took, happened, you know, the condition was fulfilled, but against his will. It was a total einus. For, for example, a person says, I'll be, I'll be a neder if I don't come here at a certain time. And then an einus happened and he couldn't come. So then the nether does not take effect. So over here, the Gemara compares and considers this case over here to be a case of a nidre einis, because the person accepted upon himself this nether, and then he realizes, oh, I can't live without wine, I need the wine for my health. Or he realizes that this is his job, in the Chavra Kadisha, and therefore his naziris will take away his parnasa. So this is called a, ne a, a, a nether that's an einis. Okay? So the Gemara here brings the source to this. And there's, an, uh, there's a machlaikis about a neda, which is an einis, the, kam, uh, the kamifligi, again, benidri einse and kamifligi, the argument here between the Tanakam and Abshimin is regarding a neda that's an einis, or beplukte, the shmul, veravasi. And their machlaikis here is similar to the argument that we learned in the Gemara and the Darim between shmul and avasi. So what's the source of this idea of nidri einse? In the Tanam, we learned there in the Mishnah, arbon nedarim, there are four kinds of nidarim, hitir chachamim. The chachamim say they're mutter, they don't take effect. One is nidre ziruzin. Nidre ziruzin, if you remember, this is when you're trying to encourage your friend. In a, uh, the example the Mishnah there uses is in a, in a sale. When, the, when there's a negotiation in a sale and there's an argument over the price and you're making a nether just to try to encourage your friend to accept your price, that nether is not a real nether. Or nidre havoy, a person makes a neder and he takes, he makes a condition on this neder about something which is just uh, outlandish, something that's not at all uh, practical, or real to happen in the world. Nidre shgogis, a person accepts upon himself a neder because he's under a certain impression that something happened, but then he realizes the whole thing was a mistake. Or nidre einsin, nidre einsin, the example I said before, you make a neder with a condition, and then that <coughs> there was something out of your control that that condition got fulfilled. Mm. So all these cases, the Mishnah says the neder doesn't take effect. But for Amar of Yudha Amar Avasi, on this Rav Yudha said in the name of Avasi, that Arba, Nadarim Malalu, these four types of Nadarim, Tzrich Neshayel Olechachamim, 
Even though the Mishnah there said that they don't take effect, but nevertheless you should be machmer and get a heta for this. In order for a person not to start making nedarim, Chacham required a heta for these nedarim as well. Then, Kiemrisa Kamei Shmuel. Rav Yudis said, when I said what Rav Asi said in front of Shmuel, he didn't agree. Amali, so Shmuel said to him, Tanik Katani, the Tanik says, Hitiru Chachamim, the expression of the mission is, Hitiru Chacham allowed this, Ba'at Amre Tzrichen, She'ele Lechachamim. And you say that it's, it's mutter only if you go and get a heter by a Chacham. So there, that's the Machlaikis regarding these Nidarim, whether you would still need a heter or not. So now how do we apply it back over here? Over here as well, when a person makes this nedar and then he realizes that the nizidis is something that he can't fulfill, it's, it's a ainus, it's something which is difficult for him to fulfill, so Rabbanan Savri, Rabbanan say, Kishmul, like Shmuel's opinion. And Shmuel says that because it's an ainus, so the nizidis doesn't take effect altogether. But Abshimin Kiravasi, and Abshimin holds a like Kravasi that says that even though it's Taken Ainus, but nevertheless, it's still going to be Asr. When Abshimin said Asr in the Mishnah, he means you have to still request a heta for this. Okay, but there's a big discussion here in Taisvis, the Rosh, the Rishayin, because this case of here, not exactly the same as Nidre Einsin. The case of Nidre Einsin, the person accepted upon himself a nether with a condition if something happens, and then that thing happened, Ba'inus. So over there, a, that's, the, that's the halacha, because it happened, Ba'inus, so the nether never took effect in the first place. Over here, we're talking about a person that accepted upon himself Nizirus, and then, so the Nizirus already took effect. And then he realizes that it's too hard for him. All of a sudden he sees, I, I need this wine, or, or I, I, I bury people and therefore I can't, uh, can't apply this Nazirah. So it's a different story here. That's the shah that all the Rishayim ask. So, so the Rishayim say, but nevertheless, one shot they say is, nevertheless, the Gemara considers this to be a situation where the person accepted upon himself, whether a neder or Nazirah, in a way that ain't piv v'li shavim. What he said in his mouth and what, he, what he's thinking in his heart was not the same. Even though he said the Lash Narei Alay Nazar, but from this that we see later, that he needs wine for his health or he needs in the, to be in the Chavre Kaddisha for his Parnasa, we see that what he said was not for real. So therefore it's considered to be like Nidre Einsen. The idea of Nidre Einsen is you say something, but in the circumstance, the way it played out, that's not what you intended in your heart to, to, to do. But there are other Rishayim though that say, that Rosh here also says this, that over here in our Mishnah, according to this answer, the case over here is that he said that I'll become a Nazir and it should take effect on this and this day. He didn't accept upon himself the Naziris that it didn't yet take effect. He said that it will take effect. And then when it comes that day, he realizes I, I, I need the wine or I need to, I need to be in the Chavre Kaddisha. So therefore it's similar to the case over there of Nidrei Einsen. Zaktei Mishnah, Hareini Nazir. A person says, I'll be a Nazir, but then he adds something else. The Olai Legaleich Nazir. I accept upon myself to cut the hair of a Nazir. This expression of Legaleich Nazir is actually an expression used regarding the conclusion of Naziris. When the Nazir cuts his hair and he brings Karbanis. So this is understood that it's referring specifically to the Karbanis that are brought when a Nazir concludes his Naziris. So basically, the person said, I accept upon myself Naziris, but besides this, I also accept upon myself to bring the Karbanis of a Nazir. Yeah, two different things. Now, Vishama Chavedai, his friend heard what this person said, and Va'amar, and he responded and said, Ve'ani, I as well. And he also added, Va'alai legaleach nazir. And I also, the second point, I accept upon myself to bring the karbanis of a nazir. So both of these people accepted upon themselves these two things, on Aziris for themselves, and also to bring the karbanis of a nazir. In other words, in addition to their own Aziris. And the karbanas that they have to bring for themselves, they also have to bring a, the karbanas of a nazir. Not, not for themselves, for, for, for whoever it is. Or so now, nazir. again? For another nazir. For another nazir, correct. Yeah. So the Mishnah says, <laughs> Im ho yu pikchim, if these two individuals are smart, megalchen ze eze, that they each one can bring the karbanas for the other. Right? You accept that upon yourself to bring the karbanas of a nazir. So, you, so each one brings the karbanas of the other person. And here, the, the, what you see from this Mishnah is, when a person concludes his Naziris, and he has to bring certain karbanas for this, you don't have to bring it yourself. Somebody else can bring it for you. Mm -hmm. So therefore, over here, each one could bring his friend's Naziris, and then they fulfill the second part of what they said. Vim mm -hmm. lav, if each one brought their own karbanas for themselves, so then they still have to fulfill the second half of what they said, Mlagalcha Nazirah Machayim will have to find someone else that's a Nazir, that has to bring his karbanas, and they will have to bring his karbanas for him to fulfill the second, the second half of their statement. The question is, 
So what's if someone said this expression, I'm going to be a Nazir and the Allah Legalech Nazir and also I'll bring the Karbanis for some Nazir and I your friend heard this and the Omar Va'ani and all your friend said is I as well Va'ani but he didn't add the second part the Allah Legalech that I'll bring Karbanis for another Nazir Mahu how do we interpret this one word Va'ani Va'ani Akoli Diburi Mashma when he says Va'ani does that go on everything that he said that I'm going to be a Nazir like what my, my, I heard my friend say and also the second part that I'll bring Karbanis of a Nazir if he only said Vani, so maybe it only goes on half of what, the, uh, what, what he heard his friends say, not on everything. And on that, this itself, the Gemara continues and asks, if you're going to say, because he only said one word, Vani, all it means is that I'm going to be like him only regarding half of what he said, but what half, which half? Is? Oh yeah, safe it. Does he mean to say that I'm going to be like my friend, which is going to be a Nazir? That was the beginning of his statement. Or a safe it. Did he mean to say that he's going to be like his friend in the second half of what he said? That I'll bring Karbanis for some Nazir. Toshema. So the Gemara says, come, let's see what it said in our Mishnah. We should be able to prove this from the Lashon of the Mishnah itself. What did it say in the Mishnah? When, when his friend heard and he says that I'm going to be like my friend. What did he say? He said, Ve'ani. I too, and but then he added, the Allah Leach Nazir. I'm also going to bring my Galeach Nazir, which means I'm going to bring the Karbanis of a Nazir. And then the Mishnah said, "Them how you pick him, a Galchan says, if they're smart, each one brings the Karbanis for the other." <laughs> says the Gemara, me the Kama. Since the Mishnah says that, what did he say? He said, "Va'ani, I as well." And then he added, "The Allah." He also added, "And I will bring the Karbanis of someone else." Why is the Mishnah adding that? Shmamino, from this I understand, Ve'ani, if he only says Ve'ani and he doesn't say anything else, Apagididi Buddha. So then he's not accepting fully what his friend said, he's only accepting half of what he said. Okay, so we can, we can see that clearly of the Mishnah. The Gemara continues, so Omri, so the, the, the Yeshiva student said about this proof from our Mishnah, in your right, Apalge didi bure mashma. If he says just the word va'ani, so then he's only accepting half of what his friend said. But Miu, the question still remains, as we asked before, areshe oya seife. Is he accepting upon himself the beginning of what he said? There's going to be a nazir like him, or the end of what he said? There's going to be megaleyach a nazir, meaning he's going to bring a karbanis of a nazir. So the Gemara says, Mino, prove it from the Mishnah itself, from this exact same lesson from the Mishnah. Because me, the Ka'oma, the Allah, the Galeach, what the Mishnah says, he said, Va'ani, that I'll be like my friend, and then he added, Va'alai, the Galeach, I'll also bring Karbanis like my friend for a Nazir. So Shema Mino, what do you understand from this? Ve'ani, that if he only says, Ve'ani alone, that I will be like my friend, Atchilas di Bura Mashma. So then it's only going in the beginning of what his friend says, that I'm going to be a Nazir. If when he spells out fully what he wants to accept, that he wants to be completely like what his friend says. So then the second part of what he says is, meaning that he accepts upon himself a carbon. So from that you understand that when he only says, that means he's going to be like his friend, just to be another like his friend. Okay, so that's the raya. We see from our Mishnah, just saying means you're just going to be another like your friend and that's all. <coughs> but the Gemara now discusses this and says, Lav Dav gets a proof. How do you know to learn it out from the Mishnah? How do you know that this is so? Really, if you want, I can tell you. If a person hears his friend saying two things, I'm going to be a Nazar and bring Karbanis for a Nazar. And he just responds one word, and I will be like him. He means the, the entire thing. It means he's going to be a Nazar and bring the Karbanis of a Nazar. Vihi mishom va'alai. Ah, you had a raya from a Mishnah. The Mishnah adds the word va'alai. It's mashma that only then will he have to fulfill everything that his friend said. My ka'amar va'alai. What my ka'amar va'alai? What what does the Mishnah mean when it says this extra word va'alai? Bahamilsa. He's just adding and clarifying regarding this matter itself. The way the, the Mepharshim, the, the Shainim of explain, what this means is, it's, it's a very unusual expression here in the Gemara, Baha Milsa. Baha Milsa means, he's just elaborating on what he's saying. He's saying, Va'ani, and then he's saying, Va'alai, which means that I'm going to bring the Karbanis that my friend said, but even if he wouldn't add that Va'alai, even if he wouldn't elaborate and spell it out, Va'ani could still mean that he's fully accepting to be just like his friend. <laughs> I, the Mishnah said, Va'alai, okay, so he elaborated on what he said, Baha Milsa, he's... And the Gemara says, If you're not going to learn the Pshat and the Reish over here in this Mishnah this way, the Ketani Seifet. It says in the next Mishnah, on the next plot, 
What's if you heard a person saying, A person says that I accept upon myself to bring half of the carbonis of a nazir. Now, and his friend here hears this. He says also, Vani, I will be like him. And then he adds, Alai Legalea Chatsi Nozer. I also will bring the car- car- carbonis, half of the carbonis of a Nozer. So over here, why does he have to spell out this whole thing? Alai Legalea Chatsi Nozer. Awesome. In that case, me Iketartan Mili. Are there two details that your friend said? All your friend said is, I'm going to bring the car- half of the carbonis of a Nozer. He didn't say two things. He didn't say, I'm going to be a Nazir, and also I'm going to bring the Karbanis of a Nazir, or half of the Karbanis. He just said one thing. And still the Mishnah uses this lengthy lotion of Ani, and also Legalea Chatsi Nazir. So Elamai Ka'omar, a lie. Why is he adding this a lie that I'm going to bring half of the Karbanis of a Nazir? But Hamilsa, he's just elaborating in, the, in this Va'ani. When he says Va'ani, he's spelling out what he fully means. But it doesn't mean that he's accepting upon himself two things. So, if so, over here in this mission as well, Kika'omar Alai, even though this, the mission here is saying that the friend that heard said Va'ani, and he also added Va'alai, I could still say Baha Milse, he's adding Va'alai in the same subject. He's not accepting upon himself a second thing. And therefore, we could say that when a person says Va'ani, he's accepting upon himself the full thing that his friend said, Sai to be a Nazir, and also to, be, to bring the Karbanas like his friend said. So there's no raya from our Mishnah. Amal Eiroves, Rav responds to this and says, no, you can't compare what it says in this Mishnah to what it says in the next Mishnah. And to say that this V'alai, this whole continuation of his statement is all extra. Hachi hashta, how could you compare here to proving this from the next Mishnah? If you're going to say over here in our Mishnah, when the person says Va'ani, and then he adds, Va'alai legalech nazir, and you're going to tell me that over here it's necessary for him to add Va'alai legalech nazir if we want to say that this person accepted both things that his friend said. So then I could say, Seifel loit siriche, that in the Seifel, when he adds Va'alai legalech chatzin nazir over there, it's taken not necessary for the Mishnah to say that because there are no two things over there. But nevertheless, I could say, Tani Seifel, the loit siriche, Mishim reisha de siriche. In the Seifa, it adds the words Va'alai, even though it's not necessary, because in our Mishnah, it is necessary. Over here, there are two things that he's coming to accept upon himself. So therefore, that would be understood. But Eli, Yomret Reisha Leitzriche, and Seifa Leitzriche, but if you're going to say that in our Mishnah, when the person says the term Va'alai, it's, it's, it's not necessary at all. He doesn't have to elaborate. Just by the one word va'ani, he accepts fully what his friend said. And Seifu Leitzricha. And in the Seifu, when he adds va'alai, that I'm going to bring the Karbanis of Anazir, it's also not necessary. So, Tane Reisha de Leitzricha. Are you going to tell me that in the Reisha, the Tan of the Mishnah adds these words, even though it's not necessary? And the Tane Seifu de Leitzricha. And in the Seifu, it's saying these words, even though it's not necessary. If it's true, that it's not necessary to elaborate and use all of this. Just with the one word, ve'ani, you, you accept upon yourself fully what your friend said, whether he said one thing, whether he said two things, ve'ani means you're going to be totally like him. Why would the Mishnah add this other words of Allah? So therefore, Rav says, Elamai, it's a raya from here, <coughs> that when he says just the word ve'ani, and your friend said two things, you're only accepting upon yourself one thing, to be a Nazar, but not the second thing that he said. Therefore, it is a raya from our Mishnah.